the fourth way that you activate this grace called favor is through prayer you can provoke favor through prayer favor is one of those systems of advantage that can be activated in prayer ask jabez oh that thou wouldest bless me enlarge my coast let your hand be upon me hmm. you can pray favor i prayed for favor for one full month it was a february from first to the last month favor lord the heart of man is selfish but by your grace you are able to place something upon the heart of kings and nobles that can cause them to be attentive to your need when god says amen to your prayer it is truly amen god will raise a fish to bring out coin from his mouth does a fish eat coin but when favor is on you ah, god can use pharaoh to give you gold everything has riches in it it only hides it is favor that allows them to give it the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread please listen to me there are many of you right now the truth is that with the current price of land physically speaking you may never have the opportunity to build a house in your lifetime but favor can build one for you and give you the key just like that. It's not a call to irresponsibility. It's a system of advantage. Are you learning? Please go back this week. Um, I'll give us an assignment by the Spirit when we're wrapping up. Use this week among the many prayers you will pray. Pray favor-provoking prayer. Lord, show me favor. I didn't come from a family with any advantage by default. If you do not help me, I don't have an uncle or an auntie somewhere. But I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. One more time. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. Yahweh listen remember that men are not your source they are only channels the real source praise God from whom all blessings flow the hymn writer says it comes from God it only comes through men when you exalt men above God you are in trouble can I tell you this truly God can give favor to men God can pick you like this and say where is he I, I'm, I'm, I'm in Abuja here and God can pick you and give an instruction and tell men to honor you and in one week God can use men to change your life in a way that you'll be afraid of your own testimony believe this oh favor favor provoking prayer there is a way you can hold on to the four horns of the altar except you are not tired of your situation if you keep giving flimsy excuses you may sit down there as a preacher as a businessman you are not just an entrepreneur you can go back my father and my god i bow my knees to our father and begin to pray favor oh god i call for favor and whilst you are praying God will wake someone and say the one billion that you have kept for charity to help people there is one of my sons and my daughters that requires help from there that person is the only breadwinner out of 12 people if you do not arise listen how did the salvation of the Gentiles come 
Read your Bible, Acts chapter 10. Cornelius was praying. Cornelius was sowing seeds. And God himself told Peter, get up. Don't call what I've called clean unclean. There is a call. Carry your presence straight to the house of Cornelius. That was where the salvation of the Gentiles started. Listen to me. Please hear me. Minimize knocking on the offices of men and ask God to do the knocking for you. Those men will not listen to you. They are too busy living out their destinies. Don't go around getting angry and saying, this person, you have what it takes to help me. When God knocks, see, there is a name he's called. He's called the father of spirits. He can wake any spirit in the middle of the night. Have you considered this family? And he says, do something for them. And someone just shows up in your life and says, by divine instruction, I don't like you, but by divine instruction, he said, every month for the next two years, I should give you this. And you are wondering, it's a lie. You may think these are some crooks trying to play games with you. Can I tell you this? The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. How could I lead a ministry like this without the favor of God? This is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today. I'm, I'm not trying to insult you. Forgive me. But it's true. If God does not show you favor, life is hard. Unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life. May favor come upon my life. Difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you. Pratesa de Balandas Kate Brekate Parakosh Kate Brende Gedi Balahaskia. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen, listen, please listen. The last key, I will give it to you so that we'll pray. We're out of time. The last key to favor is found in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. I call it the Esther anointing. There is the grace for favor can be imparted. Yahweh. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 something is coming on someone right now hmm. Pay attention Now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, listen carefully, was come in unto the king. She required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her. Next verse. 16. The Bible says, so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the 10th month which is the month Tebeth in the 7th year of his reign and the king 
loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when you read the verses before 15 the Bible says there were many women and yet Esther went to this strange man called Haggai he had worked with the king a long time he knows what the king is looking for and she asked him what does the king really want and Haggai said there is an oil I will give you just keep rubbing on your body for one year that's all forget all this how to walk the Holy Spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper he knows what he wants hear me my brothers and my sisters truly there is an anointing for favor there is a grace called favor the assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment access to systems and structures This is the grace that has been so difficult to come upon many believers because of dishonor because of lack of value because of disobedience to the principles of relationship because they do not ask and finally because they have not cared for such a grace some have received the grace for prayer some have received the grace for signs and wonders some have received all kinds of graces but the grace and the impartation for favor we have a few minutes we are going to spend the next three to four minutes no prayer point i'm going to leave you with the god of your salvation everyone you're going to cry and say father i can't remain the same not after this meeting those following online from any nation please pray you came to the house of god this is service to change your life think of your children while you pray think of your children's children while you pray think of the work god has given you while you pray Go ahead and pray. Pray. You're on your way to better day. Pray. Something is changing. You're on your way to better day. You're on your way to better days. Never weak again. Ah, you're on your way to better days. It's God's prophecy for your life. You're on your way to better days. Status is changing. There's no more decline. You're on your way to better days. Status is changing, no more decline. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way, on your way, on your way to better days. You're on your way, on your way. Go ahead and declare. I tap into this system of advantage. I fit all my background. I fit all my limitations. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I tap into this grace called favor. This grace called favor. This grace called favor. Favor with God. Favor with men. Favor with God, favor with men, favor with systems, favor with structures.
favor with death keepers. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. I just feel stirred in my heart to give us one prayer point. Every spirit sponsoring any closed door because of my carelessness in complying with these principles. First, I obtain mercy, and then number two, I scatter that door. It must open for me. Every spirit that closes the door leading to the next level of my Christian experience, I obtain mercy. Mercy for dishonor. Mercy for being mediocre. Mercy for not understanding relationships. Mercy for not being prayerful. And mercy for rejecting this impartation. But then I command every devil, lift your hands. It's time for the door of my destiny to be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Listen. The law of impartation demands that number one, you must believe in God who is the source of all things. Number two, you must believe in the vessel that he's using. Remember when there was a problem with oil, the instruction was go to them that sell and buy it now you know how you buy it buy it with honor buy it with value buy it with relationships i just gave you currencies buy it with honor buy it with value buy it with relationships buy it through prayer go to them that sell and buy our doors closing over your destiny then you need favor go to them that sell and buy is your business crashing your financial life crashing affecting your spiritual life you used to have time for God time for prayer time for worship to give to the house of God right now you who was on fire you've gone down spiritually because of looking for tea and bread go to them that sell and buy who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Your lifting and your rising. Amen. Amen. To the change of season. Amen. Amen. You don't have to kneel, but I want to pray for you. He says, Such as I have, give I unto you. Listen. I don't stand by any human sense of bragging to claim there is nothing we have that has not been given by God but I will be lying and God will judge me if I tell you by the privilege of God's grace 
we have not obtained this grace also it's been difficult for believers listen every time god sends a grace and a word to jacob it is because of israel there are things you cannot do in your life until this mantle is upon you there are door you can't do end time ministry without the favor of god you will compromise beyond your imagination the key to integrity is not only character it is favor access to the hearts of men many of you will marvel at the things that happen to you i'm telling you that a door that for 10 years have refused to open you carry this esther anointing if esther as a village girl with one encounter with this oil oh it changed my life i'm indebted to god forever Some of you are crying. Think of your children right now. You're about to receive an impartation. Think of mama at home. 10 years from now, add 10 years to your age. 20 years from now, add 20 years to your age. No achievement, no nothing. I don't want you to feel bad, but it's time to get serious. There is a system of advantage you have not tapped into. few minutes and we're done those following online following from whatever nation god is giving you another opportunity again azaria family yes sir yes sir yes sir i know it works brothers and sisters i know i know there is this grace mama you may be old in age but this grace still works apostle i didn't have the opportunity to go to school find comfort favor works apostle i'm tired people keep disappointing me politically in business find comfort i come from a village it's difficult to even see the map find comfort favor is not a license for laziness that's why I told you it's not just unmerited access. It is divine help. God and men in partnership holding your hands to lift you. Please pray one more minute. You're about to receive this impartation. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything yeah. now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and i stretch my hands first over you here in abuja our family in zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy I decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor 
receive ye this grace called favor I place this mantle upon your life take this grace now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the morning experience favor in the afternoon experience favor in the night experience favor in Nigeria experience favor in America experience favor in Europe experience favor every door that needs favor for to be open I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now every door that dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David we reopen that door now and in the name of Jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of Jesus by the paparakatos katapakate parukoto basiata enteleke paruska de bashka baruze siata in the name of Jesus Christ I give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are I stand by the prophetic I call them into your life now hear me I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing I declare in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the Lord let God's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of Jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now even Pharaoh who hated Israel with passion was the one who ended up giving them gold and everything they used to build the tabernacle in the wilderness can I tell you this when favor comes upon you it's not only friends that bless you anybody directed by God I pray for you whoever must bring forth their credibility their time their resources their endorsement to shift you to the next level I call them forth by prophecy now now I'm praying for the body of Christ but now let me pray for the koinonia global family you belong to a family that is mysteriously favored of God I pray for you 
in the name of Jesus out of the abundance by reason of this prophetic connection step into superior realms of favor by this favor may your life be a fearful wonder first to you and then to everyone around you in the name of jesus christ please listen walk conscious this i i want to encourage everyone please please just listen to the following instructions number one please ensure at least three or four people listen to this message let it be your gift forget about buying recharge card or whatever look for at least three people maybe your family members maybe your husband maybe a director so you've been giving people money thank god for that you can go to i think it should be on our youtube page go there after this service personally i'm going to listen to this message this night again this is not the message to say i have heard go and settle down like a student in the school of the spirit listen to those points and pray remember every day you are doing it at your discretion it's not like we're doing it as a ministry pray every night lord open doors of favor and you watch what the power of god will do in your life but please listen to me from this week and for all the other weeks don't come alone well if there is no space if you have to sit on the roof sit on the roof invite your friends and your family this is not just coming for service there are graces there are truths that i'm going to be sharing by the spirit and i'm telling you at the end of this you will stand in awe the only thing you will be left with is tears and praise because when you see the way your life will move your company your ministry whatever it is let me make the altar call jesus is the foundation for not only favor but salvation Please, let's minimize movement. We just thought on honor. There are people in this auditorium. There are people seated around the balcony. All the overflows outside. There are those following from different nations. Zaria. You're saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. That is the bottom line. No cajoling. No manipulation. I need Jesus. Or you are saying, Apostle, right now, I need to reconnect. Remember, we spoke about relationships. The first relationship you need is Jesus. Wherever you are, we have just one minute for you. Please, I'd like you to leave your seat. You are saying, Apostle, I want you to please pray for me. I don't want to return home the way I came. Wherever you are, please leave your seat. Come and stand. Those from outside, I'd like you to come. Join them quickly. I want to pray for you by myself. God bless you. Please come. Please come. Don't be ashamed. Come. Don't wait for someone to be the first. You are the first. Come. 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 Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Keep coming. Come to Jesus. Yod Hewa Hey is your name. Breathe, Lord. Please keep standing. Stand. You don't have to kneel. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Come. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. He can give you a new beginning tonight. Just breathe your name upon me. Yod is your name. If you're still joining them please join them if you join them later and you don't pray the prayer you will have to pray all the overflows come stand come please come run to Jesus I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do cuz I need you more and more I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do I need you more and more 
I salute every one of you, young and old alike, standing. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Jesus is here. That's why you came to church. Please lift your right hand. All the overflows do same. Zaria, US, Canada, UK, everywhere. You're making this decision. Lift your right hand there in your room, your office, wherever. I'd like you to say this prayer after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I declare that I reign in life. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I live a victorious Christian life. From today and forever, I am a child of God. I belong to the family of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we thank you for these ones. It's always a delight when we have many come to Jesus. I declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and you are partakers of the life of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commend you to the ministry of the word and I commend you to the ministry of the spirit that you'll be established and grounded in righteousness and that you will live your life loving Jesus, living victoriously and serving the purposes of the kingdom. I declare every power that is not of God, let it be broken over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, look at me. Tap this gentleman for me. The one whose hand is shaking. Look at me. I cast that spirit out of him now. Help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that from today, you are saved. You are children of light. Sons and daughters of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold that mama for me. I command this spirit. I'm seen like a serpent. Let her go. You heard her declaration. Let her go. Now. The name of Jesus Christ. Salvation is a real experience. Is a real miracle. The Lord bless you. Every one of you. The Lord increase you. Now very quickly. Please open your eyes. Amen. We're done praying. There's a gentleman waving the placard. The counselor. Please all of you in concert. Just move to my right. Which is your left move wherever whatever direction you see the placard there will be a group of people zaria same thing and all the centers available in the name of jesus let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah praise the name of the lord again let me remind you please do not come alone next week come with your heart open come ready to receive please rise up as we close the service thank you for your patience the lord bless you the lord honor you the Lord bless you. I declare that your week beginning is a week of excellence. It's a week of victory. Your passion for God remains on fire. Your passion for the word remains on fire. Your passion for prayer remains on fire. The Lord will grant you grace to experience favor all through this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.